just like us, our fish can get sick. But how do you treat different diseases in your aquarium? Today I'm gonna tell you how to treat one of the most common diseases, fin rot. First, we need to look into what kind of disease it is. Do the fins look damaged? Maybe you even see a black, dark or white edge at the very end of the fins? Then it's like the fin rot you're dealing with. Fin rot is a bacterial infection that infects the fins of the fish, eating them away until it gets to the main body. It's especially common in bettas with their long, flowy fins. If the bacteria gets to the body, it's a severe case and less likely that your fish will survive, since the bacteria will start feasting on the body. That's why it's so important to tackle the infection early on. The main symptoms to look out for are fin damage, discoloration, a dark or white edge of the fins, and lethargy. If it's severe, they may not want to eat. My first beta Frank got fin rot once and this was because the heater had broken, and I didn't notice at first. This disease is commonly caused by poor water conditions and stress. If you have tropical fish, your fish may get stressed if you don't provide them with a heater, for example, or too strong of a filter if you got a beta. Another stress factor could be that you house your fish with incompatible tank mates that may be bullying them, or it may just be too much for them. You got a few options for treating fin rot, but first, do a 50% water change at least. Then you got some options for treatment. One option for mild infections is using aquarium salt. Now if you got snails, shrimp or plants in your tank, I recommend not using aquarium salt, because it can harm or even kill them. Another option is using a medication specifically for bacterial infections. Depending on the medication and brand, it may have different dosing instructions, so read the instructions on your specific medication. Just remember to remove any activated carbon if you have any, since carbon removes the medication. A pro tip is always have medication on hand, even if your fish aren't sick. It's better to have it in case of an outbreak than not having it when you actually need it. So how do you know if your fish is recovering from fin rot? There are a few ways you can see this. One very obvious sign is if your fish was lethargic before, it's getting its energy back. You see the infection isn't getting any worse, you may even see some regrowth of the fins. Just don't be alarmed if the fins look different because it might just be another color or another shape if you may say so. The fish will get its appetite back, it, it will want to eat. You want to investigate what caused this. That way you can prevent fin rot from attacking your fish again. Do you have a long finned fish and a filter with a strong flow? You will want to reduce that flow somehow. A lot of filters can regulate their flow, but if you don't have this kind of filter you can either get a new one or you could always turn your filter more towards the glass, creating a calmer flow. Test your water. See how high those nitrites, ammonia and nitrates are. Ammonia and nitrates should always be as close to zero as possible, while nitrates shouldn't be higher than 50 ppm. Are the levels too high? Change the water as soon as possible and continue doing this every day until the levels are good. Is the temperature right? A tropical fish will typically need a heater if you don't have a heated room. Water that's too cold for your tropical fish will eventually cause stress, which may lead to a bacterial infection. Provide them with the temperature they need and you'll see a fish that's more active and hopefully thriving. How stocked is your tank? Do you have a lot going on in your aquarium or is it low stocked? I know shopping for fish is one of the best things in the world, but having too much is not very good. Having too many fish creates more waste, which in turn can cause an ammonia spike. And like we said before, we want the levels to be as close to zero as possible. If you're dealing with fin rot now, I hope this video helped. If you would like to see more like this, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you would like to support me even further, I do have a Patreon page that I will post in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!